This is the biggest and best silver video I have ever made. We love silver. We love our families more, of course, but when it comes to objects on the planet, we love silver more than anything. I think it's so beautiful. I love to hold it. It's just the coolest thing in the world. And, and if we were transported to Earth from a different planet if a Martian were to show up here in Ron's basement and we told them the facts behind silver, they would come up with a price. They'd be like, that silver stuff you're telling me about? That should be at least $213.64. I plugged it all into a spreadsheet over the last six hours. That's the number that I see occurring within the next two years and four months. Now, that gives me a lot of time before you can say I'm full of balloon juice. But when I look at the facts, when I look at the details behind silver, supply and demand, the story is very compelling. We've got people like Keith Newmeyer, the god of silver predicting triple digit silver. I'm predicting double, triple digit silver. I'll have Keith down here in the basement when we hit my number for the big silver party. Don't forget, you'll be invited also. Let's dig into these facts. Let's look at the dynamics, the stories that will drive silver to $213 in the next two years and four months. Let's do that right now. We hear it all the time. There's a silver shortage. There's going to be a silver squeeze. Look at this. Look at that. But you got to dig into the numbers to know what's going on. And to do that, you have to look at supply and demand. We're going to start with supply. The CME Group and Eric Norland recently put out a report that said that between 2016 and 2021, Mining output of silver dropped by almost 10%. That is a big, big reduction of supply of the metal to the market. And if you talk to any silver mining company CEO, and there aren't many of them left, right? You got Hecla, America's Gold and Silver, uh, Fortuna Silver, companies that try to focus on silver, what they'll tell you is that finding any type of new silver deposit is darn near impossible. And if you do find some new silver, the process of permitting it, financing it, building it, and then hopefully being able to mine it profitably is like an overwhelming task. That's why many of the silver mining companies have diversified into gold mining and other metals. The supply of silver, guys, is decreasing. That is so important to understand. When we look at the COMEX, the amount of silver on the COMEX, backing up all the paper contracts that are traded in the paper make-believe market, that amount of silver is decreasing significantly. Actually, it's been decreasing at one of the fastest rates of all time. And don't forget, there's 400 paper contracts for each one ounce of real silver at the COMEX. We've also got some fascinating facts we need to look at in regards to the demand for silver, but just a few more things regarding supply. It's been well documented that the price of silver has been manipulated over the decades. Multiple Credible, reliable sources have shown that on many different levels, on many, many, many occasions, the price of silver has been manipulated down, down, down. Now, on that subject, there's some interesting developments in Russia where they are building their own central hub, a new market, a new spot price for the precious metals in all the eastern countries that produce, by the way, almost 68% of the precious metals are getting involved in this market. They're tired of the manipulation of the price as well. So the future in that regard looks very, very sunny. We're gonna have a big party when silver hits $213.64 right here in Ron's basement. But 
Until that happens, you're still always welcome to come here. You are important, and I value the fact that you decide to spend some of your precious time with me here in the basement. If you, yes you, enjoy my content, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a thumbs up, you can turn on the bell notifications, share it with anyone you like, but let us know what you think in the comment section below. That's so important because we want to get to know you and we want to learn from you. Well, we know the supply of silver is shrinking, reducing. There's less and less silver available every single year. But what about demand? What about people that want silver. Who the heck wants silver? Why would you want silver? Well, apparently investors do because premiums are at all time highs. Yes, that's right. These bullion dealers, coin shops, they can charge more above the spot price of silver than they've been able to at almost any other time in history. Actually, there are some world records being set on things like junk silver, American Silver Eagles. The only way that these dealers would be able to get away with charging these outrageous premiums is because the demand is so high. And when we look at a place like Wall Street Silver, which is a Reddit community devoted, devoted to stacking silver, devoted to investing in silver. They have been growing and growing and currently sit at 212,000 members. Now that's not 210 or 211, 212,000 members, people who are passionate about silver like you and me. And I love Indian people even more now that I know they are on track to import almost 260 million ounces of silver this year, 2022. It may even be higher. It is astounding when you consider the fact that 260 million ounces is almost a third of the total global production of silver for the year. Think about that. That is massive, massive. Now, also, think about this. The solar industry is really waking up right now. People are starting to realize with this massive energy crisis in Europe, in the United States, in the world, the importance of solar electric generation and as we know, silver plays a major, major role in that that will continue to be a strong, robust source of demand for silver. While the electrification of the planet will play a major role in providing super duper strong demand for silver, think about this. Other electronics are also a major source of demand for our favorite shiny metal as well. As a matter of fact, the computer or the cell phone that you're joining me through right now, and by the way, I appreciate you joining me here in the basement. You know there's only one you and you're always welcome, but that phone that you're watching or that computer has silver in it as well, and the growth in electronics will only continue as the world becomes wealthier. We love silver and we're going to love it even more when it hits $213.64. The future looks bright for the shiny white metal and also the companies that extract it from the ground. It's a critical, critical part of the growth of our planet. We know that and we are patient. Yes, it's been painful over the last two years. Trust me, I'm invested heavily in some silver mining companies. I've seen drawdowns of 50 or 60 percent, but in my opinion, the fundamental story remains intact. Now, I could be wrong, so don't you make any financial investment decisions based upon what a guy in St. Louis is telling you from his basement. Also, don't make any other kind of decisions. No puppy adoptions or engagements to get married, anything like that. Just come here for some camaraderie. If you believe like I do, you're in the right place. You're always welcome here. And until next time, you be well.